Whether you want to automate lights for Christmas, Halloween, summer, maybe a January or July or deck lights or whatever the case is, I'll show you how to do that inside Habitat. To begin, you're going to need either a switch that you can wire into your wall or alternatively you can use a plug. So to start out, I'm just going to take and uh, swap out that switch and then we'll build the automation. If you have a choice and you haven't picked up any switches yet, I highly recommend you go with the Zigbee protocol. You don't have to make any static IPs. And I've noticed that after you get a bunch of Wi-Fi switches in, it seems like they're not quite as reliable as the Zigbee. I haven't had any of the Zigbee automations fail yet. Whereas Wi-Fi switches, once I've had past 15, you seem to start getting into reliability issues. So now that your switch is all installed and that's all done, uh, make sure that you identify your switch with whatever provider you have. Mine's a Mirage switch, so that's already done. Uh, but one additional step is you want to make sure you log into your router and make sure you make the IP address static. So I can't go into and show you every single router, but in mine it's uh, pretty simple. I just got to go to the IP address, specify to what I want, and uh, it's made static from that point forward. The reason why you want to make it static is just uh, if your IP addresses do refresh that you don't lose connectivity between that switch. If you have a Zigbee switch, you can skip that step and skip the adding it to an app step and just go right to adding it to your hub. To do that, click on devices and if it's a Wi-Fi switch, you might have to have a virtual connection to that device or it's also done in virtual. I think Habitat has recently changed this. If you've got a Zigbee or a Z-Wave device, you can click it here. The device should be defaulted into pairing mode as soon as you power it up and it'll connect pretty easily. So we'll do the hard one, we'll do the uh, Wi-Fi device. So to do that, click on the virtual type. It's a Mirage switch. And we're gonna assign it to the garage. Device name, this is going to be Christmas front lights. And we'll save the device. You're going to need a login key for a Mirage switch. I already have mine, so I'm just going to chuck that in there. And the IP address. And then save the preference. And save the device. Once you have that saved, you can click on refresh. And if it refreshes over here, the device is properly set up. Next, we're going to go to the dashboard. Actually, to add it to the dashboard, we got to first go to apps, dashboard. Click on the box of devices and we'll see it there that's unchecked. So we'll select it, update it, and click on done. And now we can go to the dashboard and we can add a button. So to add the button, we're gonna put it down on the bottom here. Make it too wide. And this is a Christmas front lights, which is a switch. And we're going to add that tile. Close that and there's we see the tile is selected on the bottom. If we click on it, we can verify that the switch works.